today in this beautiful sunny California day we're gonna talk about the car which is perfect example of Los Angeles car for your daily driving that's the Ford Bronco that's the legend which came back on the market after several decades I would say on the market and it's so popular right now you still have to wait for one to get if you want to lease it or buy it that's why they kind on high demand even at the auction right now this car 2023 Bronco in this Badlands edition it still cost about 65 68 thousand which is kind of a lot so for the new one to buy or lease it you're probably gonna pay a little bit over sticker I don't know how much but is it worth it to buy it I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience with the car and in my opinion you have to think twice before you're gonna order one or at least get one to drive it for a day or half day to see an idea and to get that feeling if you really want this car or not so number one what's bringing attention to this car that's the oversized wheels and the tires so it's kind of huge one for this this car and it's not lifted that much so i would say i would lift it up a little bit suspension so you're gonna get more room to go over the things because the wheels the tires the size of the tires it's kind of huge and it's not so many space between the fenders and the wheels so the square design of this car i know where it made from i know where it came from number one that's from the legendary bronco from the 90s because it was kind of looking the same one but the quality of building this one brand new it's kind of not the same so when you open the door closing it you can see you can feel it like hear it the door inside is just empty it's kind of aluminum plastic so all the panels on this car it's kind of empty any panel you're gonna touch you're gonna hear that noise there is nothing going on inside so i have no idea how it's how many stars it's gonna get in the crash test but in my opinion it's not gonna get so many unless it has a good frame so probably it does so the way it looks like i was not feeling i was not expecting it's gonna be the way it looks right now so i was thinking about something different on the headlights because again we all did see like several years ago on a car show the bronco gonna come back on the market with new design and with new vision but the way it came right now and the way it looks right now it's not the way i was expecting it's gonna come what i don't like about especially this bronco because the front end the headlights it looks kind of similar i know it's a little bit different but again it's too much similar to the baby bronco which is called bronco sport and sometimes when it's passing by since there's not so many on the road some people confusing is it the bronco sport or it's a bronco because they looks kind of similar when you looking at them from the side and it, but it's not the similar because the cost of this one and the bronco sport it's twice different so I would do something differently on the front end I don't know why they made it but again so much people love it like it not me at all so this car it's not just a regular four-cylinder 2.3 engine this is 3.5 EcoBoost V6 with the turbo engine so I want to show it to you how it looks like under the hood under the hood it looks so simple all the wires and plugs they just hanging around there is no cover for the engine you can see all the valves you can see the turbo sitting on the sides of it uh, again they didn't care about how it's going to look like under the hood that's why they made it like when you open the hood you can see there is such a mess like <laughs> why why it's going on like this way i have no idea honestly for the car for 65 plus it's kind of too much so at least they would you know do some cover and put it on the top but they didn't do so because they have a different opinion about who's gonna buy this car and about the way it's supposed to look but i mean it's doing what it's supposed to do the things it gives you a lot of power and the torque and uh it's kind of cool improved engine over the years because this 3.5 EcoBoost engine came back in I think in 2010 or 2011 on the F-150 and they've been so popular since that they've been using it on everywhere like Expedition Explorer you name it most of the Fords they use the same engine even the Raptor they do have the same 3.5 EcoBoost engine so whoever made design for this car the way it looks like the way the function works i think it's the same designer in my opinion who did the new wrangler new jeep because the way camera sits here the way the rear door opening the size of it 
For me, it looks much similar to the Jeep, not to the Ford itself. But when you're touching the materials, I think again, uh, the materials on the Jeep much better. They feel much nicer, but what I do like about the rear door, you can open it super wide and you're gonna have a lot of space on the back to put some extra stuff. You have to open it from the top. So what are you gonna get on the on the back, you're going to get some tools, you're going to have some space, you can pull a lot of stuff and you can drop the rear seat. We're not going to talk about it. And uh, again, whatever you're going to touch, whatever you're going to feel, all the locks on the car, all the plastic, they made a cheap way. So for me, at this price range, I think it's a little bit kind of sketchy. I don't know why they didn't do much better quality than they did. But the wheels itself, it's really nice, it's really cool. So it, there is a there is some bolts, it gives you idea, you can take it apart and put it back together, but which is not, but it's still there. So inside of the car, there is a lot of different things. You might gonna see it before, like AUX. For example, you can put a lot of extra stuff. Huge screen, this huge cluster, goes together with low quality dashboard. How you can put them together? Check the Ford Bronco, you're gonna see how the designers made those decisions. So when you're gonna sit on the back, you're gonna see a lot of different things similar to the Jeep, like the middle buttons to control the windows uh, left and right, they made exactly the same way. And the Jeep, they make it before Ford. All, all the doors, no frame doors, they kind of cool, but same time they empty. I think the design, they steal it from the early Subarus because the Ford never done it before unless it was a Mustang. But we're not talking about the Mustang, we're talking about brand new. Ford Bronco and it feels like the car is not worth 65,000 just because of that but on the top of it you're gonna get extra floor mats so you're gonna have the original one and the rubber one just put the rubber one I mean this car made for the dirt for the dust to go outside off-road and all kind of stuff so the door pockets that uh, your underwear string, it's kind of again sketchy. The Jeep proved itself after a couple of years, it's gonna be looks like that. That's for sure, especially gonna put a lot of stuff inside. All those handles, they made cool. I mean, it looks such a cool, but after a couple of years, it's gonna start falling apart and this one is gonna become sticky. That's for sure. That's from the BMW experience. Again, the seats, cheap, cheap, not leather cheap materials, whatever, it's gonna crack, fall apart, all the buttons, same as the other Ford, there is nothing, but just the design itself, it's such a cool and nice. So when you're driving this beautiful Bronco 2023 Badlands with V6 engine, you might gonna get the feeling you sit in a G-Wagon, but American brand, but it's not. So number one, that's the quality of the materials they use for this car. I mean, they kind of cheap, but the car itself, not built for materials, not built for the way it feels. It built for the way it looks. And you can touch it, you can feel it everywhere. So the dashboard, it's plastic. It's like piece of plastic, which is gonna crack like all the American old cars after several years under the California sun. It's just gonna dry, it's just gonna change the color and after it's gonna crack. So probably later on, you're gonna see a lot of the covers for the dashboard on the eBay for $3.99 or $15.99 different color, just so you can protect your $65,000 Bronco. And the other stuff like the steering wheel, it's not the leather or maybe it's a leather, but super kind of cheap. And after several years it starts, it's gonna rip apart, that's for sure. I hope in several years I'm gonna do a review about the same car or similar one and see how it looks like, the way it's gonna feel itself. <clears throat> but in my opinion, in my feeling right now, all those cheap materials, they're gonna show itself later on, not when it's new. But the smell inside the car, it's not smelling like something really cool or really so expensive it just smells like nice truck so the way you're driving it the way i see the hood and the way i can look around myself it's kind of nice because i can see whatever is going on everywhere the windows are so big the doors are so huge and i can see things i can see what's going on in front of me on the left side on the right on the back, I cannot see because there is a small window and 
On the top of it, we do have a soft top, which we can remove it or just open it like a convertible and drive it up the hill on the beautiful canyon area. So the way I can drive it on the canyon, it's not more than 30, 35 miles per hour because it's not that kind of car. It's bumpy, the suspension, it's kind of soft. So it gives you the feeling the car made for off-road, not for the city. Plus the tires and the wheels, it's not a regular one. I think it's empty tires that's made for the off-road and uh, that's the way you're supposed to drive it. But can I enjoy it? I am enjoying it. But in the way I'm supposed to enjoy the off-road, nice SUV. There is a beautiful houses on the top of the canyon. Why I'm not there, I have no idea. Uh, so what else I can say? Is it enough space for me as a driver? It's more than enough space. Is it comfortable for me to drive it? Yes, you'd like sitting on the bench. It's kind of high. You know, you can open the window and throw some things in the, in the people if you have so. But if you don't have so, like, just drive it and enjoy it. So the design inside the car, it made sound like it's a brutal design. You know, all those handles in the middle, like a Porsche Cayenne back in 2002, they made it and the people loved it. So Ford decided we're going to do kind of the same thing. I want to stop myself a little bit just to show you some things. And the shifter in middle, it's made like huge shifter. There's American flock in the middle, made in America. But again, the materials, they kind of cheap. They kind of going to show itself after several years, especially if you're going to drive this car always with open top, you're going to see the difference. You're going to see what I'm talking about. So the shifter for the four wheel drive and two wheel drive, it's right in the middle. It says goat mode, so you can do a lot of things, you know. So there is a lot of different modes you can choose while you're driving it. And it's not like only high four-wheel drive for low-wheel drive. You can choose the way you want to drive it outside. You want to drive through the water. You can do that. So, so design the vans, the middle one, low quality build. When you're doing shifter, there is no soundproofing. And uh, you can hear the something clicking. There's something clicking under the car. The central screen, again, we drive in the Badlands Edition, so it's not a regular one. It has some other extra options, like the screen. Regular screen, it's much smaller, it's much less options on it. But this one, it's kind of fully loaded. And it's kind of cool. The feelings are so good. I think because it's brand new, because it's kind of reborn legend everybody was waiting for the new bronco and a lot of people like me they've been pretending i mean okay this car gonna be looks like f-150 like f-250 the way they made it before and as a huge fan of the ford f-250 diesel one uh i like those kind of cars i like the old one like excursion i like the explorer the older one four wheel drive because i think they made so cool uh they made kind of strong for off-roading and for your family needs so the new bronco everybody was waiting same as me and i was thinking it's going to be wow such a nice beautiful car it is beautiful in different things but it other things it's made like to enjoy, to enjoy the way it looks, to enjoy the way it drives, not for the quality of materials or something like quality build, because again, when I pump the hood, open it, you're gonna see a lot of things just hanging around and it's kind of normal for this car. So if you wanna compare this car, for example, with Jeep, right? There is a Jeep Wrangler. You can buy it cheaper. You can buy electric one plug-in because this car right now on the used car market, we're not talking about the new one. On the used car market, this car 2023 Badlands Edition, you can buy it between 65 and 70,000, depends uh, where you're gonna buy it. So in reality, you can buy a nice Rubicon for 40, for 45, and you might gonna get not the same idea. You're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's gonna be such a nice, SUV for you and for your daily driving. So it's kind of expensive in my opinion, and I think it's gonna go down a little bit because not all the people got the car yet. Not all the people got an idea. They don't need it. They don't want it. But just because it's a legend and it came back on the market, a lot of people wanna buy it and a lot of people still waiting for it. And I know those kind of people who still waiting and they're gonna be 
so much disappointed but at the same time they might not gonna be disappointed because they're gonna accept it they're gonna accept the way this car built the way it looks just because the time of waiting it's been so long so they already agree to get whatever they're gonna get I can hear the noise of the uh, coming from the back I think that just uh, the rear bench seat hanging and making some noise but again it's normal just turn on your music a little bit louder and you're gonna be fine i'm not sure about the city if you're gonna drive this car in the city you're gonna try to park it somewhere it's not gonna be so easy because the car is huge and the backup camera it's kind of not so helpful in some ideas but there's a tons of options on this car like line keeper you know collision prevention and all kind of stuff it's gonna help you a lot to drive it in the city the brakes on this car i mean as i'm driving up to the hill and down the hill i can feel it they kind of cool but i didn't drive it fast enough to try to overheat them and see how it's gonna react but i think they would they could be better but not the way they are the handling while you're driving this car it's it's not so disappointed but same time it's not so straight so you're gonna you're gonna feel that bumpy suspension you're gonna feel those really <clears throat> you're gonna see you're gonna feel that bumpy suspension you're gonna feel those big tires it's not your daily driving tires that's mostly mat off-road tires and i think that's kind of not so smart to put it on this car as a daily driving i wouldn't do so the steering on this car it's kind of soft it's not reacting the way it's supposed to be but again because you paid that much for the tires and the wheels you pay for the look you didn't pay for the car itself you pay for the like the opinion of the other people where you're driving you're gonna get that so at the end i was gonna say uh, <clears throat> you have to think again twice about you want to buy it you want to keep it but because at some point it looks like it's a really good idea to buy one and to keep it but after a while maybe two three days maybe a week or maybe a couple weeks you might gonna say why i bought it i don't need it anymore but you at the term of lease or at the term of finance i didn't think you're gonna take 65 70 000 from your pocket and pay for the car just to keep it on the side of the road just because you want it no you're not so be honest with yourself like i'm honest with myself and i'm not gonna buy this car if i want to buy something similar or close by i would get the jeep twice cheaper or maybe something older but jeep much more affordable and it proved itself during huge period of time it's hard to break it and it's cheap to fix it the bronco eh it has a proven itself transmission and engine it's kind of cool and nice you might gonna say it is durable at some point it is but at the other point it is unknown car which you have no idea how it's gonna do in five years or maybe more if we're talking about used one but if you buying it just enjoy it just to drive it around and it's kind of cool looking car nobody has one or a limited amount of people has one or two buy it you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna find the way to find the way you're gonna use it off-roading or just daily driving or something else maybe some crazy stuff you're gonna pull some stuff behind the car you're gonna take the roof off and gonna drive it as a convertible car but your dashboard gonna fall apart sooner remember that so thank you so much for watching it please subscribe please sub put some thumbs up some all of them up and put some comments below tell me if i'm wrong or am i right and i'm gonna answer to you as soon as i can as soon as i see your comment so please put one thank you so much for watching it and have a beautiful day in your life